All right, so let's look at this last problem for using the parallelogram rule to add vectors. We want to add these two vectors. One's at 200 at 30 degrees from that angle. One's at 260 at this 5, 12, 13. And later on, I'll talk about kind of how to handle these. Right now, let's change this to an angle. Um, let me see here. Uh, we've got uh, 5 over 12 use tangent, right? tangent of this angle, I'll call it alpha equals 5 over 12. Uh, anyway, I'd get alpha is 22.62. So, so anyway, what if it had told me that this is 22, 22.62 degrees below horizontal, and I want to add it up to this one that is 30 degrees right here. Let, let me move over here and redraw this tip to tail. I, I'm going to draw this one first. It is 260 at 22.62 degrees right here. Then I'm going to add this one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how far to draw it. Uh, how far does it come up here? I, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just going to draw it you know, the best I can. 200. And you see 30 degrees from vertical. 30 degrees from vertical. And the resultant would be from where I start, right? A plus B. That plus that. Uh, so from here to here would be R. I don't know it, and I don't know its angle. We'll call it some phi or something that, that we haven't uh, solved for just yet. Okay, so here's my triangle. I know two sides, and I don't know the third. What angle inside this triangle do I know? Hmm, what angle do you know inside the triangle? Yeah, I'm not positive, I, but I know if I if I knew side, angle, side, side, angle, side, I can use law of cosines. Do I know this angle right here? Let's look closely. This is probably the hardest part. Let's look closely. Do I know this angle? I'll call it theta right there. You see that 22.62? You see this Z, right? See that 22.62? You see this Z? It kind of shows you... This is also 22.62. So look at this corner right here. That whole angle is 90, and it is equal to a 30 plus a theta plus 22.62. So yes, I do know theta, and it is 37.38, 37.38 degrees. All right, so now that I know that angle, is 37.38. Then I've got a side angle side. I can use law of cosines. R squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine theta. That theta is opposite that R. That's exactly what we've got here. R, which I'm looking for, equals A squared would be 260 squared, 200 squared minus 2, 260, 200 cosine 37.38. I've got R 157.98 uh, newtons. Good. That's half of it. That's just the magnitude. I need the direction. I need this angle phi. All right. Uh, so I could use law of sines, I think. So now I could use law of sines. Now that I know this and I know that I could use 200 and that, right? All right, so let's look at it here. What have we got? What have we got? Uh, sine of 37.38 over the side opposite, which is R. Oh, oh which I do know now. Sorry, so yes. I know 157.98 now equals sine of, let me just call this right now beta, that's this whole angle. You could say phi plus 22.62. I'm just going to call this whole angle beta over 200. All right. So now that would tell me that my calculator spits out 50.23 degrees as beta. All right. And let me keep on going. Let me double check sine of, because let me kind of show you what can happen sometimes. Let's call this alpha. Let's find that third angle. 
uh, because because this could be 50.23 or 129.77. Now, it doesn't look like 129.77, but it, when you're drawing them, you're not really drawing them to scale, so don't trust your um, figure too closely. Um, and then this is sine over 2, 6, so if I do this is equal to this, I can solve for alpha is 87.64. And here, when it is close to 90, it could also be the supplementary, so it could also be 92.36. This is where you, you get into some trouble because it looks like it's probably 87, but it definitely might, could be 92. How can we figure out which of these angles it is? Well, they have to add up to 180. So um, I know that, let's see, I know that this one is definitely 37.38. So let's just assume this is probably it, 87.64. If I add those up, I get 175.2. All right, so do you see that it was not 87.64? It was actually 92.36. That does add up to 180. All right, so sometimes this wasn't too um, uh, terribly important because it wasn't really asking for that. But be careful, especially when you get angles close to 90 degrees, it might be the uh, supplementary angle. All right. Sorry, that was kind of a side note. Now, let's answer the question. What angle is this at? What angle is that phi? I found that this angle was 50.23. And if this whole thing is 50.23, then subtract 22.62. So 50.23, 22.62. Uh, and I may have rounded one 27.6 degrees. So that's what I'm going to put 27.6 degrees. Box in my answer. It has units, newtons. It has the angle that it is from horizontal. Always measure. You know, don't tell me it's at 50.23 degrees. No, it's 27.6 degrees from horizontal. All right, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was the last one for this chapter. So, so do these problems and do this homework using the parallelogram rule. Draw the vectors. Draw it with a straight edge. Break out your, get a ruler or break out your credit card or student ID or something. Draw it with a straight edge. Draw them nicely. Use the law of sines, law of cosines to add them. Um, and then we'll get to a, our new, easier, probably what you're more used to method. All right.